Hello, George. Just wanted to answer your question in regard to how you can keep the students in the test and be able to also allow them to watch a video within there. There's actually a couple ways to do this. Um, I'm going to show you both ways and have it in a recording so it makes a little bit more sense. So I'm in your course right now. One of the first things that you need to do is get to your test, go to course tools, get to your test. I'll take a peek at that first test. Now you have your test here. I'm going to go ahead and edit that test. I'll go to the first one and I'm not going to scroll too much up. I don't want to show all the answers here, but you'll notice that you have your URL for YouTube that's linked into the test. Now what's happening is if the users are clicking the URL, it completely changes what website they're on. It takes them out of Blackboard and it puts them right into YouTube. That's not what you want to happen. I get that. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit this question. I'm going to go to edit and get into that. Uh, description there of what you need to edit and one of the first ways that you can fix this is you just fix the link so you click on that link and you're gonna notice there's the two link areas here I'm gonna click on that link and one of the things that's happening is you've set it to open in this window and frame so what it's saying is go from blackboard and just switch this exact window we're in and put you right into YouTube we don't want that to happen what we want to do is we want it to open in a new window so what that would do is create a completely new window that it would open up with so essentially making a brand new tab um, so you still have your original blackboard tab opened up but but then you also see a video that is there. So that is the first way that you can fix this up. Now there is another way that's kind of cool that you can do it as well, and this might be the way that you prefer. So let's say I take this URL, and I'm gonna go straight to YouTube, and I'm gonna go into YouTube here, log in and see what we got here. It looks like there's a, a video that you have uploaded and you wanna do some analysis on. Well, if you scroll down and depending on when you're watching this video, it may have changed, but there's typically something called a share button that you can click onto and you wanna find where it says embed. If you click that embed, you're gonna get this bunch of code. Don't need to worry about that code too much other than being able to copy it. So I'm just gonna hold control on the keyboard and click the C button or click this copy button, copies that code. Now this method is a little bit more involved, but it is pretty cool. So I'm done, I got the embed code, I'm already done with this website, I'm gonna close out of that, and I'm gonna return right to our question. Now this is where it takes a little bit of a turn, but I think you're gonna be able to grab it if you can just follow along like this. It's always nice to have that URL in there. It's in there, we've updated it so it opens completely in a new tab. But what we wanna do is we wanna go in behind the scenes inside the HTML where you're not gonna to have to learn HTML. You already have that copy paste of that embed code. I click this HTML button and it's gonna show you a bunch of junky code and it gets a little bit scary at this point. But what you're looking for is where is that URL that you had? And there it is, there's that URL and you're just kind of tracing it up. And what I'm gonna do is you ask this question, use the following video to answer these questions. I'm not gonna change any of the code, but what I wanna do is I wanna put an enter, just a couple enters in there so that I have some space. Oh, extra spacing's not gonna matter here. I just wanted to get some so you could see in this video. I'm merely going to paste the code. So that's holding control on the keyboard in V, and that puts that code we grabbed from that original YouTube video right here into your uh, description. Now when I hit update, what it's gonna do is you're gonna see this big yellow box that just drops in there. You're still gonna have that content underneath. You're gonna still have the content above. Um, we've just kind of moved up some of that coding and we dropped in our own little chunk of code. So now if I hit submit and update attempts, it's saying it's gonna affect 17 attempts. We haven't changed anything, so it's not gonna really change anything in this particular assessment other than that the question was changed. So I do that. And what you've now done is embedded the video directly in the question itself. Students do not need to click the link. They can just watch the video right there in the test. So to be able to update those other uh, questions, you could either just create it so that the link itself can link out to a brand new tab or embed it right there inside the test. Hopefully this has been clear, and if there's any additional questions, please let us know. Thank you so much. Hopefully your semester's going well.